Well, Teacher Teacher was a, a super show, and it um, it was one of the early social issue shows, a, a time when we took up a topic that was uh, that was good. We had a we had a a, a good cast, but uh, the star of the show was a little a little guy named Schulberg, who was uh, who was who had a mental deficiency and. Teacher, teacher was about his teachers. He was a, he was tutored by, a, by McCullum, and um, he played the part beautifully. But it was a, it was just a joy to watch this young man who had this difficulty uh, act his part as beautifully as he did. It was a, it was a marvelous show. Was was that a risk? Um on uh, your side as far as uh, making sure that, 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 that he would be able to act, that it, that it would work? It certainly was. <laughs> but he was just great. Marvelous young man. So what, what ultimately um, solidified that decision? Was it sitting down with him and talking to him? Or? Well, we didn't, but of course the people that had to direct him did. And they're just, it was a little risky, but it was a great opportunity to properly present the young man's difficulties and uh, and what indeed society can do with people like this. How do we handle this? And what can you hope for as results? Let's uh, continue to talk about some of these other, uh, obviously um, we can't talk about all the shows. Um, 1971, The Price, George C. Scott. Well, it was a marvelous show, and of course, he's a marvelous actor. And um, it was it included uh, Colleen Dewhurst, I think then wife, at least, and they uh, they did a marvelous job of acting with a story that uh, is perhaps perhaps not that moving, but a uh, a chance to bring out some wonderful strong characters and uh, George C. Scott. Colleen Dewhouse, I think Ralph Bellamy was in that show. Great acting. The Promise, 1986. Why do you think it was so well received? Again, good acting um, and a social topic. Schizophrenia is, had not really been presented, but it was well done, and uh, uh, James Wood and, and James Garner both did it excellent job with the show and it became uh, almost a textbook in teaching about schizophrenia around the country. Uh, in shows like that we've always made an effort to make them authentic so we've gotten all the experts in on it that we could and this one particularly clicked in terms of being represent representing a, a problem that is not curable. It's uh, you can only hope to keep it in control, and uh, marvelous reaction to all those people who are trying to work with the problem. So we're pleased with that. Another significant one, my Bill. My name is Bill W. Well, another social problem, and it was well handled. Of course, he's he's the person. Bill W. is the one that should be represented, representing that problem. And again, the same actors, James Wood. And James Garner did a, a fine job, and uh, so I think that does good to present that in an appropriate, constructive way, and, and uh, so I'm always pleased when we can do that and help along a social issue of some sort with an entertaining show, good acting, good drama. What was that about? Bill W.? Yeah. That was about alcoholism. And Bill W. started the the AA movement, and uh, he's still a big name among anyone connected with that problem. As we continue here, Sarah, plain and tall, talk about that. Well, to talk about that is to talk about Glenn Close, which is always a pleasure. <laughs> lovely woman, lovely actress, and. Uh, she did a fabulous job. We received a giant audience. I think our largest uh, of that time, and I um, understand it was the largest audience of uh, 
television movie for the decade. Did it start out as a trilogy? No. <laughs> it did not start as a trilogy. It was a success and became a trilogy. <laughs> so we, we and she and we were looking for another opportunity. Uh, what, the de what the deaf man heard? Well, that was um, a show, I think, extremely well done, an intriguing story, and, uh, and I think it was just very well acted and, and directed and became a, another great audience gather. It was another show that was, I think, second place in, the, in that decade as to audience. A Storm in the Summer, 1970. Talk about that for a second. Well, that was one of my favorites. This Peter Ustinov is one of the finest actors ever, but it was a really intriguing story, and I know it's been done on television other times, but I particularly love this performance of Peter Ustinov and this wonderful young black boy. But they, um, this uh, Ustinov had this young boy under his care for a summer. And although they had a very difficult time getting together uh, by the end of the summer and the end of the show, they were so close. And so it was very warm, sentimental, beautiful show. What was the story about, briefly? Well, just about his caring for him and their disagreements on things, basically, when they started out. And the rejection of the older man by this young black boy uh, but through uh, Ustinov's caring ways, or his character's caring ways for this boy over the summer, it, <coughs> they learned from each other, and they were very, very close, extremely close. Uh, Love is Never, Never Silent, 1985. Well, that was a, that was a fine show also, um, and one that was meaningful. It was about a a daughter of two parents who were deaf and she kept trying to work with them and it was very difficult because although she could sign it was very difficult for her to help them through the years but we we had deaf actors do these parts and they were marvelous actors and actresses uh, her parents were both deaf and uh, and uh, it was a it was a marvelous performance and I think helped a lot in people understanding deafness and the difficulties of, of being deaf and living with deaf people. But very constructive and a beautiful show. Uh, the the uh, Piano Lesson, 1985, anything jump out at you? From the well, piano? it was the first uh, television, uh, first broadcast of a, of a black author Wilson, very talented man. Intriguing story, again, some excellent acting, and uh, one that I think uh, was constructive in our world, certainly to bring to, to the fore a, a wonderful writer who had uh, not had the attention he should have had in the past. I see he's getting more attention these days, as a matter of fact. I don't know if we helped in that or not, but I hope so. Are there any other uh, programs that we haven't talked about that are your favorites? Well, I think you've talked about some of my favorites. Uh, certainly A Storm in Summer and Teacher Teacher are two of my all-time favorites. Um, but I've, I have, there are many that I've, I've absolutely loved. To Dance with the uh, White Dog was a great show, in my opinion, it had a it gave us a chance to work with two very great stars and who we've worked with uh, on more than one occasion. But uh, it also had a good audience, but it's, it's just an intriguing and delightful story. And, and uh, I've, I've enjoyed my contact with some of these stars. Uh, we did All Quiet on the Western Front, for example. Had a good Ernest Borgnine and and Richard Thomas were stars of that show. I developed a very close friendship with Richard Thomas since then and, and his wife, and uh, whom we see fairly often. And 
it's unfortunate people still think of him as Tom Boy or John Boy only, but he's a very, very fine actor. So, but I've enjoyed those contacts. We've kept up with Ernest Borgnine and his wife and, and other stars, which is kind of fun. We, we fought internally among our executive groups as to which, which one of us Glenn Close is truly in love with. And uh, uh, it, I guess we've none of us won. 